Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about two different concepts in Python. It's going to be a pretty cool lesson. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys, though, are two dimensional lists. So down here in our Python file, I just want to create a basic list. So I'm just going to call this number grid. And I'm just going to set this equal to a normal list, right? Just like this. Now, normally, if we were creating a list, I could just put in a bunch of attributes and a bunch of elements, right? And now all of these elements are inside of this number grid list. Everybody's happy. But another thing I can do is I can make all of the elements inside of this number grid list lists. So the first item in the number grid list is going to be a list. The second item in the number grid list is going to be a list, etc. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I can basically just come down here and where I would normally put the first element in the list, I can just create another array. So I'm just going to make an open and closed square bracket. And now I'm just going to say one, two, three. And I can create the next item in my list. I can say four, five, six. And let's make another item in this list. I can say seven, eight, nine. And finally, we're going to put one more list inside of the number grid list, and it's just going to have zero in it. So inside of this number grid list, right, this high level overall list, we have four elements and all of those elements are themselves lists. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating a grid, right? This grid has one, two, three, four rows and one, two, three columns right? Four rows, three columns. And that's kind of like why these can be useful is we can create a grid like structure inside of Python using two dimensional lists. So this is a pretty cool list structure. And I want to show you guys how I can access individual elements inside of this list structure. So for example, let's say I wanted to print out one of these values. Let's say I wanted to print out this one right here. The way I can access it is by saying, number grid. And the first thing I want to do is make an open and close square brackets. And in here, I want to put the index of the row that I want to access. So this would be like row zero, because that's the zeroth element in the array. This would be row one, it's at index position one, this would be row two, row three, etc. So I could put row zero. And now right next to this, I'm going to make another square bracket. And I want to put the index of the column. So this would be like column one, column two, column three. So I'm going to put another zero because this is at the zeroth index of this first array. So I just put zero, zero here. Now we can print this guy out to the screen and you'll see down here that we get that one. So I could also do this for like for this eight, for example. So this is going to be zero, one, two. It's going to be row two and column one. And now we should be able to print out that eight. So that's basically how we can access elements inside of this 2D list. The next thing I want to show you guys is a nested for loop. A nested for loop is a situation, like I said, where we have a for loop inside of a for loop. And I'll show you how we can use this nested for loop in order to print out all the elements inside of this array. So I'll basically show you guys how to parse through a two dimensional uh, list or a two dimensional array. All right, so basically we're just gonna create a normal for loop. So I'm gonna say four, and I'm just gonna say row in number grid. And I'm using the word row here because I'm kind of seeing these guys as rows, right? These are sort of horizontal rows in our little grid. So for each of those rows, for each of the elements inside of number grid, I want to loop through. So I could actually just print out each row right now and it's just going to print out all the rows inside of this list. So you can see down here, we basically just get exactly what we have up there. But I want to be able to access each of these individual attributes inside of each of these array elements. So we can actually create another for loop and I'm going to put that for loop inside of here. So now I'm going to say for column in row. And basically what this is going to give us is each individual column or each individual element inside of these arrays. So for example, inside of the arrays that are the elements of the number grid. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So down here, now I can just print out column and this should actually print out 
every single value inside of this two-dimensional array. So let's go ahead and run this program. And down here, you'll see that we're basically printing out one all the way down to zero. So we're printing out all of the elements inside of all of the arrays inside of the number grid. So that's how we can use two dimensional lists and nested for loops together. And both of those things are actually pretty handy in Python. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.